somehow it becomes scarier when you know that a program generated code that's running a nuclear power plant. It becomes scarier. You know, humans have errors too. Exactly. But it's scarier when a program is doing it because why? Why? I mean, there's a there's a fear that a program, like a program may not be as good as humans to know when stuff is important to not mess up. Like there's a misalignment of priorities, of values that's potential. That Maybe that's the source of the worry. I mean, okay, if I give you code generated by uh, GitHub OpenPilot and code generated by a human and say, here, use use one of these, which, which how do you select today and in the next 10 years, which code to use? Wouldn't you still be comfortable with the human? At the moment, when you go to Stanford to get an MRI, they will write a bill to the insurance over $20,000. And of this, um, maybe half of that gets paid by the insurance and a quarter gets paid by you. Yeah. And the MRI costs them $600 to make, maybe, probably less. And uh, what are the values of the person that writes this software and deploys this process? Uh, it, it's very difficult for me to say whether I trust people. I think that what happens there is a mixture of um, proper Anglo-Saxon Protestant values where somebody is trying to serve an abstract greater whole and organized crime. Well, that, that's a very harsh... You're, you're, um, I think that's a harsh view of humanity. There's a lot of bad people, whether incompetent or just malevolent in this world, yes. But it feels like the more malevolent you, so the more damage you do to the world, uh, the more resistance you have in your own human, like, yeah, But heart. don't explain with malevolence or stupidity what can be explained by just people acting on their incentives. Right, so what happens in Stanford is not that somebody is evil. It's just that they do what they're being paid for. No, and no, this I, is uh, it's not evil. That's I I tend to, so no I I see that as malevolence. I see uh, as I uh, even like being a good German, as I t told you offline, is some. It, it's not it's not absolute malevolence, but it's a small amount. It's cowardice. I mean, when you see there's something wrong with the world, um, it's either incompetence that you're not able to see it or it's cowardice that you're not able to stand up, not in, not necessarily in a big way, but in a small way. So I I do think that is a, in a, a bit of malevolence. I, I'm not sure the example you're describing is so a good example. So the question is, that, what is it that you are aiming for? And uh, if you don't believe in the future, if you, for instance, think that the dollar is going to crash, why would you try to save dollars? If you uh, don't think that humanity will be around in 100 years from now because, uh, global warming will wipe out civilization. Why would you need to act as if it were? Right. So uh, the question is, is there an overarching aesthetics that is projecting you and the world into the future, which I think is the basic idea of religion, that you understand the interactions that we have with each other as some kind of civilization level agent that is projecting itself into the future. If you, if you don't have that shared purpose, uh, right, what is there to be ethical for? So I think when we talk about ethics and AI, we need to go beyond the insane bias discussions and so on, where people are just measuring the distance between uh, a statistic to their uh, preferred um, yeah, current yeah. world model. But, but the optimism, wait, 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 I, I was a little confused by the previous thing, just to clarify, uh, it's, there is a kind of underlying morality to having an optimism that human civilization will persist for longer than a hundred years. Like there, like uh, I think a lot of people believe that it's, it's a good thing for us to keep living. Yeah, of course. And thriving. Because morality itself is not an end to itself. It's instrumental to people living in a hundred years from now. Right. Or 500 years from now. Right. So uh, it's only justifiable if you actually think that it will lead to people. Uh, or increase the probability of people being around right, in, in right. that time frame, and uh, a lot of people don't actually believe that, at least not actively. 
But I believe what exactly? So I, I was that they, uh, most people don't believe that they can afford to act on such a model. 